Hello, today we're renovating 131 21 Sheik Street. So this was quite a fun apartment to renovate. I ended up making it two bedrooms. Um, it's the really run down apartment, the one with the vent, the body outline, there's some pipes, there's a couple of mouse holes. So there's a few bits to work around and work with. So it is quite a bit of a dingy run down flat and I wanted to make it just a little bit more uplifted. So it's by no means fancy, it's not got lots of expensive furniture in it, it's quite basic but it's just a little bit nicer than it was. You know, it's, it's been painted, it's got a new kitchen in, maybe not the best kitchen, but it's no longer broken and gross. Um, and I actually really like the layout in the end. So we've got this kind of split kitchen area where we've got the kitchen on one side and then we've got the fridge, microwave and sitting area on the other. We've got the two bedrooms. So I've kind of made it for two females that live here, live here together, um, both gamers. And they kind of have that kind of contrast of personality and things they like. So you've got one with all the pink and all the pastels. And then you've got one with like black and dark blue and dark purples. Uh, both have gaming computers and gaming chairs and all that because I really wanted to make like a gaming one because I've not played with any of the gaming stuff yet. I've not done any of, well, any of the streaming stuff. Um, I've not played with much of the high school stuff. I've just been building with it. So I'm trying to make stuff that I might actually want to play with when I finished getting all the building out of the way that I want to do. So we've got this really cute room. I love this room. I think it's so nice, but I just love pastel colors. And I love the little kitty cat rug as well. I think it looks so cute. I really used a lot from the high school pack in this, which it makes sense because I've kind of made it for young adults or like young teenagers just moving out into their first apartment. So the pack worked really well for that and all of the colour schemes I loved. It was just a great excuse to use a lot of the new furniture and not necessarily just for like a teenager's room in like an, an otherwise normal house. So we've got the two bedrooms, we've got the bathroom. Uh, we've also got a little laundry room. So I've made a cupboard out of the area where the pipes are you can still access the pipes because they break so you need to fix them or the landlord needs to fix them um but then the washing machine and dryer fit in so well at the, in the back so i've just added them in there obviously if you don't like laundry which a lot of people don't it's it's annoying to do in the game and it's kind of glitchy but if, so if you don't like it you can just take it out but i really like that it fit in there and it made it feel a lot more realistic being able to squeeze the laundry in there so now we've got the other girls room with all of the kind of darker colors and i love this room as well i love the bed it looks so nice <laughs> so i'm hoping this apartment will be a lot of fun to play in i'm not sure if i want to play it yet with like two sims or just have a separate roommate and then not have to worry about the kind of the second sim but then this is a little living room area so this is just tucked nicely away and i really like the black and pink couches so for the communal spaces i kind of gone for a mixture of them both so we've got a lot of pinks blacks pastels and just kind of a lot of like basic like plain colors as well so i tried to work with the floors quite a bit so i've added the vent bit into the bathroom so it just looks like a little drain in the middle of the floor and then we've also got the mouse holes which you can't really cover up because you need to get in there to deal with the mice so they're left open and so they're easily accessible but i don't think any attention is particularly drawn to them and then obviously the pipes now in a cupboard and i covered the body marking with a fried egg rug because two young girls are living in there i feel like they'd cover it with a fried egg rug <laughs> what else would you do <laughs> because I wanted it to be cheap and cheerful and due to like the space limitations there's not loads going on in the flat but there's enough to make it feel lived in and homely and like you can tell like these two girls live here together okay so let's hop into the build and see the final apartment okay so here we are and this is the final apartment and yeah I absolutely love it I think it's great so this is the finished front room we've just got some pinks and some blacks and just decorated we've got the little grogu over here some little cushions and obviously a bit of mess just started around i think you know maybe they're doing like bits of work out here together and stuff and i think it's really cute i imagine they play games together out here as well as well as in their own rooms here is the egg covering the body <laughs> um so this is a little area for them to sit and i actually i actually quite like the layout of this kitchen i think it works quite nicely it's a bit different it's not what you'd usually see but i like it i really thought it was quite cool um, and they've got a bit of clutter on their side. They're making s'mores for dinner because what else would you have? <laughs> and then this is one of the rooms. So we've got kind of just everything that they need. You can't really fit much else in the rooms to be fair. I mean, I don't think this washing basket is functional, but 
They can use the one in the other room. And you can always take it out or just add it out of the front door or something. That's probably what I'd do if I was playing. I'd just put it out there. But it just makes sense to have it in the room for now. And then the bathroom is just very, very simple bathroom. And then this is the cupboard with the laundry in. So I've just, you know, sectioned off these pipes. And you can still get here to fix them when they break. And then you can still do your laundry over here, even though this is in the way a bit. But yeah, you can still use it. It all works fine. It's all functional. And I think it makes a really good use of the space. And then we've got the other bedroom, more pastely bedroom. Um, I love this computer as well. I think it looks so cute. And then again, you can't use the mirror, but you can always like swap them around. I just thought they looked better like that in real life. <laughs> and I try to make it a little bit messy, a little bit of stuff everywhere. Like there's not quite a place for everything, but there almost is. <laughs> so that's it. That's the finished apartment. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, please like and subscribe so I know to make more like this in the future. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.